Hey guys, so if you are someone like me who takes a lot of photos, who makes YouTube videos as well, which he has to store somewhere, and a lot of other data like uh, digital titles for movies and seasons that I have bought, obviously there are other members in the family too which would like to store their uh, precious moments. And uh, the online services uh, like Google Drive, OneDrive cost a lot. So I wanted something that I can set up at my home and use it for my own like a server like my own cloud storage so i ordered this one this is called my cloud home it is made by wd western digital and uh, it comes in multiple capacities the one that is sitting right here the one that i use is of 8 terabyte 8 tb and uh, i have been using it for almost a year now and to be honest i have been really happy with this i think this is one of the best decisions i have made uh, I have not even used one terabyte as of right now, but uh, I, I think this investment was a good investment because I, I keep my YouTube backups, you know, like YouTube videos backup in here. I keep my digital titles of movie seasons in this one. And uh, oh, it, this can, one can be shared with other family members as well and can be accessed anywhere in the world. So this is something that is a really good thing, I think, for anyone who is looking for a cloud storage of his or her, her own and uh, obviously there are uh, more costly devices but uh, this one is really good as per its budget like uh, based on how much it costs i think it is a really good investment and it is really easy to set up like you plug it in with your local internet using the if you this ethernet port it does not have a built-in wi-fi it, you have to connect it using the ethernet cable and this there is a one usb input which you can use to either give it data or obviously export data with it for fast copying otherwise you can uh, obviously copy and paste it on the network as well and then this one is the power input so once you plug it in power and ethernet cable you go to the my cloud home application that uh, it is on the app store and play store uh, for both ios and android devices and the uh, MacBook and Windows devices and uh, login and then say find my device. That application will automatically find this device. It will ask you for a code which will come with it. I think it is written on the base as well. And yeah, and uh, you input that code and then it is it will be automatically set up. It will be discoverable locally on your network as well. And uh, you can also access it uh, internationally wherever you are in the world using their applications and obviously it is if it is local to, to your network the data copying uh, will be really fast and accessing but if you're not in, in your local network you are outside anywhere in the world then you can access it obviously over the internet and uh, another thing that is really good with it it comes into, uh, with multiple integrations like in it can fetch data from google drive OneDrive. you can connect it it, it comes with a application the my cloud home which has a built-in capacity to sync in your photos and it acts just like a, a google drive or OneDrive. anywhere on the macbook or windows laptop you can right click on your folder and say sync with my my cloud home and it will sync it any changes made to this one will sync to, to your laptop and anything made any change made there will sync to this one so the application that you you need to use either on macbook or windows is wd discovery you go you launch it you will see this macbook already connected as you can see that my macbook uh, my my cloud home device is already detected it is showing that the data is 7.7 tb this is the total storage uh, i have 82 percent available and the rest uh, is occupied so you can see still a lot of storage to go and uh, Let's click on it, and uh, you can also see that it appears uh, on the sidebar of, of your File Explorer application. And in, in, inside it, you can see that I have different folders, including the U YouTube folder, where I keep all the videos, other uh, movies folders, uh, anything that uh, the folders that I have synced from the desktop. And uh, this is the Plex server folder where you can put share your home movies, uh, home videos, movies, TV shows, and these will be accessible through your Plex app on your uh, browser or obviously on your 
plex home a uh, plex application so whatever you need to put it you just put inside this folder the relevant folders and you will find them categorized on the plex application and the thing about uh, this my cloud home is that it acts just like uh, your onedrive or your google drive so once you right click on a folder you can sync uh, there will be an option to sync it with the my cloud home device and it will start syncing you can also share links of folders with others so i mean it acts just like your google drive or onedrive so you don't skip out any, any functionality uh, it's just your cloud storage at home you can also drag and drop files directly to my cloud home or you can drag it on the file uh, file explorer uh, left column i mean it, you can drag and drop files or you can just shrink them it is totally up to you for mobile devices and tablets you will install my cloud home application from google play store for android devices and for uh, from app store for the apple devices and inside the my cloud home you will log in and uh, all the files and folders of your my cloud home will be accessible through that application no matter where you are in the world so let's see that in action so here you can see all the folders that i showed you on the desktop and you can also see your pictures here and you can see that my pictures are here and they are also categorized so this can sync obviously your pictures as well you also have that flex server folder where you can put all the movies and seasons that you would like and again everything that i had put there is also here now if uh, you want to play some media you can go to flex application and here you can see that all my movies are categorized and i can see whatever i was continuing and left them i can continue or uh, resume them uh, all other movies are categorized as well so recently added movies recently added tv so everything that i added to my plex server is here so let me play something for you so that you can see that how the how the media player of plex is and how it works and you can see that it is playing right now and all you have all the multimedia controls so isn't that cool so this was the my cloud home device made by western digital that i have been using and i have really enjoyed it i will leave the link to buy this one in my video description if for anyone interested and uh, please share your feedback with me or if you have used this one or willing to use this one and take care bye